Hi and welcome to this video. So in the last video we drew a circle, we've still got that. Here's our spline, I've right clicked to select it. The next thing I'm going to look at is adjusting this spline. So once you've built a spline up you can adjust it. So you can select one of the points on the spline and you can move it and it will draw the spline in sympathy with wherever you move that point. Now what happens if you move one of these points up for instance. So if I move this point up you can see that what's happened here is the spline has now gone underground because this is now up in the air as you can see it's up in the air. Let's right click that to reselect it and therefore it's going down below the ground as you can see under here because it's following a curve. Now the way we can fix that is we can add another point so if I click here to add another point and then I hover over when I'm over the line it will go red so I can then click and then I can select that point and press dot on my keyboard and now it's brought that to surface level and so we haven't really gone underground anymore so now I've got this raised point and, it, and the spline hasn't really gone underground and then over here we can see we've got a similar problem with a spline that's buried underground so we can select a point put it right there select that one and press dot and then that's brought that one back up to ground level so now we have a situation where we come along and we go up in the air we come down again and the spline doesn't sink below the ground and we can select any of these points and move them around and make our shape however we want it for our track so this is effectively drawing the layout for the flow of a, of a track we haven't put the track on it yet but that's what we're doing okay that's it for this video see you on the next one